Hello, everyone. Welcome to another week in my fourth grade class. Hello, hello. If you are new to my channel, my name is Marily Sanchez, and I'm a fourth grade teacher in South Florida. This is the start of week four in this new 2023-2024 school year, and it's a Tuesday since yesterday was Labor Day. Today is September 5th, 2023, and it was testing day. So it was our first progress monitoring assessment for the Florida Assessment for Student Thinking. That is our state exam. So progress monitoring one and two are for information purposes, and then the students take it a third time in May at the end of the school year to get their actual level for ELA and for math. So today we had our ELA test, and all my students got their reports because we get the results that quick, and I sent them home so that the parents can take a look at how their children did, and it also gives me information that I will use when I am doing small group instruction and also intervention. So it's been a very long day of testing because even though the students get an estimated time of 90 minutes, they can have actually till the end of the school day to finish the test. And I was testing till 1.30. We did pause for lunch from 11.05 to 11.35, but then we continued. And then at 1.30, our test administrator, or not administrator, our test chair, came around and collected the six kids that were still testing so that they can continue testing with him in the media center. So then I ended the day with my students. For 1.30, they were still in PE. And I picked them up at 2.05, and at the end of the day, we watched the vocabulary week in rap video from last week, since they're released every Friday. And we went over the vocabulary, we played the vocabulary game, but didn't quite finish it. So we'll work on that tomorrow. But I am exhausted. It's been a very long day of testing. My Fitbit just gave me my 10,000 step, hooray, you did it kind of image on my Fitbit. So I've been up and about pretty much all day. So let me tell you, I went ahead this weekend, my co-teacher let me know that I can buy covers from my bar stool high chairs that my brother gave me. They're leather, but they're kind of old and the leather hasn't really been treated. So she recommended that I get covers for them since the leather was peeling. And I actually got a packet of four of them on Amazon and they were a great color similar to the chair and i also went ahead and i got a cover for my chair my teacher chair where i sit because it just needed a refresh so let me show you how it looks now on the chair so this is how my chair now looks it's so cute i actually love it this cover was $9.99 on Amazon. If you're interested, I'll link it down below. They had different patterns, but this is the one that I like the most for this one. And here is the bar stool high chair with the cover that is stretchy and it just fits so nicely. They look like new chairs. I have another one right here. And then I have one there that doesn't have the cover yet, but I will put it on because if you take a closer look, you see how it's like peeling and coming off and as you use it it's just getting this wear and tear so i think it'll be nice to cover all of them and i'm so glad that i found those covers and they fit very nicely so just wanted to share that with you tomorrow is a regular instructional day my homeroom needs to finish their wonders assessment from unit one weeks one and two from last week so they'll be on the computers again finishing that my afternoon group already finished so they'll get started on wonders unit one weeks three and four which is the unit we start this week and thursday is another testing day for that one will be the math test Whew, so another day of being up and about getting the kids to finish their assessment by the end of the school day and then friday will be another regular school day another thing that i forgot to say is i thought we were testing in my room today but they sent out the updated like testing places yesterday which was a holiday and i don't have access to my work email at home i removed it earlier this school year not this school year last school year earlier this calendar year like in january i removed it so i didn't see it till this morning thank goodness i came early this morning because okay teacher fail and i'm just being honest i forgot to leave my laptops all plugged in in our laptop cart here so I had to plug them in to make sure that they have enough charge. Thank goodness I came super early. But then I didn't end up needing them, even though 
I set up my desk in the testing format so that they're sitting facing the side, the back, and the side so I can stand over there and see how they're working on it. But we didn't test here. We ended up testing at a computer lab with desktops because they know that these laptops, the new ones, don't have a very long charge. So after two hours or three hours, the battery dies. And they wanted to make sure the students had enough time to work on the computer and get their tests done. So now I'm gonna put all these desks back the way they were so that they're ready for tomorrow. All done setting up the desk back to how they were and the students will know exactly where they sit. I also went ahead and I placed the last cover on my third chair and it's just so soft and it's also machine washable, so very nice. I do have to put the author's chair back, but I'm gonna leave it there for now. The students haven't started sitting here yet because we've been doing other whole group stuff, but once they're getting ready to work in groups, those are some flexible seating areas and back there as well with our floor seat. So that is all that I have to share for today, Tuesday. I'll see you all tomorrow. Hello everyone, so I actually, have something to tell you. So today is not Wednesday, September 7th. Today's actually Monday, September 11, 2023. So what happened with Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? Last time I left you, I was getting ready to come back the next day to have instruction with my students. Well, after I left you in that last clip, I went home and as I was getting home, I got worse and worse and feeling like congested and sick. I went home and went straight to sleep. And it was like five o'clock in the afternoon. I was off and on shivering and just feeling cold and then not cold. It was kind of rough. A Monday, I'm mean, sorry, Wednesday morning I woke up and I wasn't feeling great. I felt weak, I felt tired. Hello everyone. As you can see, I'm not at work today. Today is Wednesday, September 6th. 2023 I started feeling kind of sick when I got home yesterday evening and went straight to bed and I've been shivering in and out and my body is achy I have congestion just giving you a little update of what's happening and yeah just gonna go back to sleep for now so I ended up um, taking a day off and that's how it continued for Thursday and Friday. So today I am back after recovering from that illness. I'm so glad to be back, but I have so much to catch up. At least last Thursday when I wasn't here, the students were testing for their fast test. But that is what happened on week four. We're now on week five, which is the start of a whole new vlog that I'm about to start. So just wanted to end week four. I know it's a very short vlog, but that's what happened. I did leave sub plans for Wednesday. And for Friday, it was mostly leaving work for the students to just review things that I have already left. By Friday, I had them read one of the passages that we're reading for the new unit that we were supposed to start last week when I was not here. So we're continuing that this week, at least this week. I feel great. I feel fine. It's a five-day school week. So I hope that I have a lot of time to catch up on everything so that I'm where I'm supposed to be. So. And that is the end of that vlog. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought or any questions you may have. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I hope you have a beautiful, magical day and don't forget to smile. Hello dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.